Now that I've lost everything to you Say you wanna start something new And it's breaking my heart you're leaving Baby I'm grieving If you wanna leave, take good care Hope you have a lot of nice things to wear And a lot of nice things turn bad out Hard to get by just upon a smile. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. I always remember you like a child, girl. You know I've seen a lot of what the world can do, and it's breaking my heart in two. Cause I never want to see you sad. Don't be a bad girl Cause if you wanna leave, take good care Hope you have a lot of nice friends out there Just remember there's a lot of bad and beware Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by just one smile Like a child girl. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today I'm sharing with you one of my very favorite songs entitled Wild World by Cat Stevens. Before we get to the breakdown though, I'm gonna introduce to you and give a quick shout out to my good friend Micah Forsyth, who has created an Excellent uh, XLR cable for my recording needs today. Uh, Micah is a professional audio engineer from Philadelphia um, who can create anything you might need for your uh, home studio or for your live performance needs. Um, he does uh, great uh, guitar cables uh, and XLRs, as you can see. Everything is uh, metal components, gold plated for longevity and durability, and he hand solders everything. So, uh, incredible attention to detail, um, something that every single guitar player and recording engineer can appreciate. So, I'm going to put Micah's uh, information and also the specs for this fantastic cable in the description down below and you guys can feel free to contact him and see how he can help you out. Let's get started. Okay, a close look at the guitar and standard tuning. We're getting started with our intro and verse which happens to have the same chord progression. I'm going to put some diagrams up on the screen so make sure you're following along and learning these chords as we go. We have the A minor chord starting us off to a D7 chord or D dominant 7. First finger stays, just put those uh, two fingers into position there. To a G major chord. To a C major seven, or my preference, the C major seven slash G, just by putting your third finger up one string, third fret of the low E string. Sounds like that. To an F major bar chord, drop these fingers down and put your first finger on the first fret. To a D minor, my middle finger can stay put. And to the E major chord, and a quick pass to uh, E sus 4 by putting your pinky on the second fret of the G string. Okay, you put those chords together and we have A minor. Now that I've D7 lost everything to G. You say you C major 7 want to start something F major new. And it's D minor breaking my heart. Your E major leaving. And baby, I'm sus 4 grieving. Repeat that whole thing, we're gonna have one adjustment at the end. A minor chord. But if you wanna leave, take good care. Hope you have a lot of nice things to wear. But then a lot of nice things turn bad out there. We just throw a G major chord at the end and you have all of your verses. Okay, so you're practicing those chord changes slowly, not putting any of the strumming pattern in just yet. Just get those chords down and try to figure out exactly where those strums in, the changes come in, in relation to the words. Okay, if you have those chord shapes down, you're ready to move into the strumming pattern. This is something that's very rhythmic and he definitely changes it up a lot, but I'll give you something to work with. Um, we're gonna have two patterns that kind of alternate back and forth chord to chord. So, over the A minor chord, we'll have something like this. Down, down, down. 
or a little bit more accurate, bass, bass, down, down, up. Bass and treble separation, we've been talking about that a lot. So bass, bass, down, down, up. Uh, pattern number two will come in over the D7 chord. It'll sound like this. I'm going down, up, down, up, up, down. So you put the two together, we have bass, bass, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, your next goal is to see if you can execute those two strumming patterns alternating from chord to chord across the entire verse. I'm gonna perform it very slow for you and you're gonna to try to line up your strums with mine. Let's get started, here we go. The A minor chord, one, two, three, four, and bass, bass, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, bass, bass, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, bass, bass, down, down, up, down, up, down, Okay, so one last little tip on our verse section. I did throw in a little bit of the vocal melody there, as Kat does, um, and it sounds something like this. That is that Seuss 4 sound that we have in the E major chord. Bass, bass, down, down, up. Da, 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 or baby, I'm grieving. So you can do that with your pinky um, after you've completed that uh, first strumming pattern there. So bass, bass, down, down, up. And then just kind of tickle the center strings here. Put the pinky in on the second fret. And then hit the open B string or strum through. So that way you include those notes. So we have bass, bass, down, down, up. And then da, 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 da. Now if I end up hitting some extra strings in there, that's okay. It's just going to make it a little bit more robust. Though I will be uh, careful uh, with which ones I do hit. Okay, if you have your verse down and also those strumming patterns, you're ready to move on to the transition into the chorus. It's gonna sound something like this. And a lot of nice things turn bad out there. Just like that. Okay, so we're going through the verse and we hit that final G major chord. Maybe a couple extra strums to fill in the space, but not absolutely necessary, just a G strum right now, then we're going to put our third finger on the third fret of the D string and go D, open G, D, open G, then to the second fret of the D string, back and forth again, and then to the open D string and open G string. So we have 3 0 3 0 2 0 2 0 0 0 0 0 Okay, if you have your verse complete and also your transition into the chorus, you're ready to tackle that chorus where things are gonna get a little bit more interesting. I'll start off by demonstrating nice and slow. Okay, something along those lines. Uh, we have the C major chord with our strumming pattern number one. Bass, bass, down, down, up. Then on the G major chord, we're gonna go down, down, up. Just nice and simple. We're gonna be highlighting the words there a little bit. So that would sound like, ooh, baby, baby. Just hitting that, uh, those two syllables in baby. Baby, it's a wild world. The F major chord just gets our bass, bass, down, down, up. And that's followed by a really, really nice little riff over C major chord. All right, so that's coming from our C major scale there. Um, some players just start on the first fret of the B string. I'm gonna be starting on the open string B. Zero to the first fret B string, back to the open string. That's followed by the second fret of the G string, then the open string G. So far we have. Next, we have the third fret of the D string, second fret of the D string, and then the open D. So far we have. And then finally, the third fret of the A string. That takes us into the G major chord. Now, in our chorus so far, we have bass, bass, down, down, up on the C major chord, down, down, up on the G major, bass, bass, down, down, up on the F major chord. Our riff, then we have the G major chord. It's hard to get by. Say it one more time. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by. Then an F 
major chord, we got the bass, bass, down, down, up. Just upon a C major chord, bass, bass, down, down, up. Then we have this second riff here, which comes in like this. strings E and A. So far we have. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. It's hard to get by just upon a smile. It's gonna repeat uh, again. chord and an E major chord finish up our chorus. Okay, let's go through the strumming patterns one more time on the chorus. We have the C major chord, bass, bass, down, down, up. Simplify our G chord, baby, baby, down, down, up. The F chord gets our bass, bass, and then our riff, number one. All right, then we have the G chord. I like to do a bass, bass there as well. To so the F major chord again. Back to the C chord for just a couple more strums, then we have that quick riff again. This is uh, riff number two. All right, nice little bass line there. We repeat the whole thing again, C major chord. Bass, bass, down, down, up, G chord. Baby, baby, it's a wild world. Same thing. Um, the riff number one. All right, that drops us off on the G chord again. The bass, bass, always remember you. Like a, this is where it changes up a little bit. You can kind of kind of go by feel here. The C major chord, D minor to E, turns us back to our verse, turns us around. So there I just gonna go, uh, uh, let's see here. Always remember you, like a down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down. That just kind of comes naturally for me. So we have down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, up, C, D minor, E major for that full chorus. All right, and that's it, everybody. If you have the verse, the two strumming patterns, our transition riff into the chorus, uh, and then two riffs within that chorus, you've got the whole song down. You're ready to perform it. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on Cat Stevens' Wild World. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again to our buddy, Micah Forsyth, for giving us the tools of the trade uh, to get this lesson done. I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back, and please subscribe. I am Rob from Swift Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.